Uh, my name is Kristen Richards Hildebrand. Um, I'm an outside hitter. I'm from Orem, Utah, and I attended Stanford University. My name is Courtney Thompson. I played volleyball at the University of Washington. I'm a setter, and I'm from Kent, Washington. All right, let's do some quick set questions. You answer who's, first. Who's the funniest person on the team? Courtney. Krista. <laughs> What's your favorite drill? Ball setter, ball hitter. <laughs> USA 50. <laughs> What's your favorite place to play volleyball? Brazil. Mm, Brazil. What's your favorite road trip you've ever been on? Those might be the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with the Olympics. <laughs> what is a personal item that you have to have on the road? My baby blanket. My travel pillow. If not for volleyball, what sport would you be playing? Tennis. Singles. <laughs> doubles. doubles. Let's do it. Uh, good question. Nothing in the water. Um, I think soccer. Any inspirational athletes that you look up to? Ooh. Stacey Sakura. Ooh, that's a good one. Volleyball, for sure. Stacey Sakura. I have a lot of them. I like... Uh, kind of a football junkie, so you know, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, representing the Seahawks, probably my favorite. For me also, we got to chat a little bit with Kobe Bryant last year, and that was a really cool thing. Um, he was really inspiring, we got to know like what he's about on the court and what, about what motivates and drives him, and that was pretty neat. So do you see a correlation um, with other sports and bringing that in, back into the USA Volleyball Gym? Yes. Absolutely. I think. Uh, even if the sport's completely different, I think the way they approach it and the way they kind of attack their their craft, if you will, you know, anything at a high level, I think um, you can learn things from what you like that other athletes do and the way they go about it. So I, I love that kind of stuff. When did you start playing volleyball and describe that experience when you first got on the court? Jeez. I came from, I mean, I come from a, a volleyball family. I was a rug rat with volleyballs rolling around our family room. Um, Organized volleyball when I was eight, um, and uh, I don't know. It was it was exciting. It was kind of a new thing. Um, I was playing with my older sister. That was great. Uh, just trying to keep up with her mostly and all the older girls. And I quite different experience. Uh, I my family had never been to a volleyball game before my first sixth grade volleyball match, which was super intense. Um, the, my friend started a club team. Her, she had older sisters that played, and she got me to come try out. And the only thing I remember was not wanting to wear spandex and being really bad. <laughs> That's my first memory of volleyball. <laughs> well, from that experience and how you've progressed to be on the national team and everything, what would you give advice to um, for a 10-year-old just starting out the game? There's so much. Yeah. I feel like I'm 27 years old and I'm still learning. So my advice to anyone young in the game is to be a learner, right? To be open to change and to be to be um, open-minded to, to to coaching and to trying new things, even though sometimes it feels weird or it doesn't, you don't get results right away. Um, I think that, that would be my best advice. For sure. I think I think just. Um, really trying to be the best that you can be, you know, and that goes for volleyball and anything else in life. It's so easy to compare yourself and to, to look at someone at a high level and think, oh, they were never as bad as me or I could never do that and they look like superhuman and um, that's how I felt when I used to watch and I think if you enjoy what you're doing and you work hard, uh, you never know, you know, where you could end up and um, so I encourage kids to dream big and, and go for it and enjoy the entire process along the way. What factors made you fall in love with the sport of volleyball? I like I like how much of a team game it is, you know. And you can be you can have an all uh, a great player, um, but she really can't do anything. She can't score a point without a, a pass, a set, and a hit. You know, you need you need to rely on your teammates. It's um, and it's a fun dynamic game, and you get to cheer a lot, which is always fun. And uh, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me. Best answer. I second everything she said. <laughs> Was growing up, did you have a player that you looked up to as that's the player I want to be? Gosh, 
For me, it was my sister. Um, she was a couple years older, growing up, and I was a. Uh, I was always playing club with her, and I don't know, she she was inspiring to me because of a few reasons. She was my sister, she was a great, talented volleyball player. Uh, she had a lot of passion, and she was a great teammate. So, yeah, she was she was that for me. This kid could rock, get awkward, but I think mine was Kristen. <laughs> when, when, I swear to God, when I was a kid, like, I didn't know anything about volleyball, but when I started playing, my mom, I think she signed up for like, I don't even know, was it USA Volleyball Magazine? And this kid was in it like all the time, like <laughs> the best junior player out of Utah. Like, you're probably on the cover like 10 times, I don't know. So, I may or may not have cut her name out a few times. <laughs> this is all, this is all <laughs> coming out for the first time. <laughs> there's only, truly, there's only like three names I knew in volleyball. It was Logan Tom, Stacy Sikora, and Krista Richards. Oh my gosh. And, uh, flattering. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> and those are players. And it was, it's pretty cool to, um, when you, you read about players and, and Kristen and then also Stacey and Logan who had, I've seen on TV before and, um, and then all of a sudden they become your teammates and, and even more importantly your friends and uh, it's really neat uh, for me to feel you know as a, as a young kid to see that and feel so far away and then to very very slowly become a part of it and it's I've been able to live my dream which is really cool. Has there been a turning point um, in your career someone that something that someone told you or a drill that something just finally clicked that got you to the next level? That's a hard question. It's a, it's a good one. I need a second to think about it. Court? I've had, <laughs> yeah. I've had, I think I've had a few of those. Um, I, one, one really big one. Uh, last summer, I remember Cart shitting me down after a practice, and I had been doing okay, but wasn't quite, you know, where I needed to be or um, in my full potential at the time. And he sat me down and just said, hey, look, what are you good at? Tell me two things you're good at, you know? And I answered him and he said, and what aren't you good at? And I told him and he said, I want you to quit thinking about what you're not good at and be the be who you are, you know? And, and play into your strengths and, and do what you do. And that's all you need to do. And uh, and it was kind of like a freeing, I got chills thinking about it. It was a freeing moment and um, cool to, to feel that belief from your coach, you know, that he kind of validated what I can bring to the team. And uh, yeah, got I had a lot more fun after that. Uh... Yeah, I've, as the same as Courtney, I've had a few of those moments throughout my career. I think that the the most uh, monumental one was last summer when I made the choice to come back to USA Volleyball after my mom had passed away, and that was a really difficult decision for me. Um, when I was going through that, I I told my fiance at the time, now husband, that I didn't I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think I was strong enough. Um, and uh, luckily, he's the kind of man that backed me right up and said, Kristen, like, this is what your mom would want. Uh, you have all of your best friends on that team supporting for you, cheering for you, rooting for you. You know, I have you. And um, Anyway, so to make that choice and then to come back onto this team where I was surrounded with an army of teammates that just loved me and, like, pushed me through that, um, to go through something that hard, um, at, and the timing of it all, right, to be competing for a spot in the Olympics and, and to be in this gym surrounded by those people was a pretty special thing for me and I think it allowed me to, to put some of the other stuff that in the past had, had gotten into my mind um, as I'm training or trying to compete or doing all that. And I, I, I don't know, perspective changed for me, you know, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Perspective changed for me and it allowed me to play more free. Um, and, uh, yeah. and this next question kind of goes into that. Um, has there been a time in your career when you really felt like you had to stop or just quit? And how did you get through that tough time? Yeah, I mean, I just kind of talked through that, but um, I was, yeah, I was close to walking away because it was so difficult for me and I didn't feel like I had the strength to, uh, I mean, I don't know why is like passing a ball to target important, you know, when like all, everything else is falling to pieces. Um, and, uh, but at the end of the day, like, volleyball is a passion. I, I love it. And and going back to why I'm passionate about it is because of, of my teammates and the people around me. And we're all working for a cause and we can't do it without each other. And uh, for me, that's what that's what brought me back. Um, so, yeah. We're so glad she's back. Yeah, I know I am. Uh, yeah, I've had several. I usually tend to have like two to three breakdowns a year. Um, usually they're overseas where I call one of my parents and just, you know, the crying and uh, I'm angry, I'm frustrated, I'm, 
you know, whatever. Uh, but like like Kristen, I think it's it's all a matter of perspective, a matter of perspective. And uh, my family's been great, and they're always there, um, encouraging me. You know, to this is gonna get, you know, this is gonna pass, and we're gonna move on. It's at the end of the day, we're playing a game, and it's you know, it's all good. And and the other thing are my teammates, um, and it's so cool to be in an environment where I don't know. Growing up, I think. You know, maybe we all felt a little bit different or a little more competitive than the average, you know, teenage girl or whatever. There's an extra fire, and to be surrounded by a bunch of women that are like that, it's pretty special. Um, and it's a humbling, really humbling process to play at a high level. Uh, and the, but the cool thing is that you're in it together, and so I think it's kind of like a, a big circle. Like things are going well, you feel on top of the world, and then. You have a few bad practices, and you kind of you're bummed, and then you have a night with you know you go to dinner with your teammates, which we try to do quite a bit, and you just laugh about it, and you know you realize that there's a lot more things important than you know what percentage we're signing out in row three on a Tuesday, <laughs> you know, and you know, and you can laugh, and then you come in the gym the next day and you play free, and it's kind of a common theme for us, but uh, yeah, my teammates and family for sure. The U.S. Women have trained here in Anaheim for the last quad and starting the second quad. What's it been like to train right here in Anaheim and this awesome. facility? Uh, I don't know. Uh, for me, it, it's been wonderful for a lot of reasons. I think that Orange County is, um, it's, uh, I, I don't know, a lot of us, we're training, right? Whatever, four, five, six, seven, eight hours a day even. And we're so in it and it's so mentally, uh, overwhelming sometimes and it's it's nice that Orange County there's so many friends and family that it's it's I don't know like a I don't say like a hot spot or something oh, yeah, but yeah. It's, it's easy for people to get to mm -hmm. Colorado Springs in that same sense was a little tougher right like you dial up. To, yeah you had to fly <laughs> to Denver and then either you know catch a flight or drive yeah. or, you know what I mean so for Orange County it, it's it's really good for us as athletes that are so uh, I don't know mentally taxed in here and physically taxed to be able to have that outlet like family, friends that are in the area. Um, I don't know, for me, my husband's here, my life is here. I have the best job in the world and I get to be at home, you know, which is so special and so many of my teammates don't have that. So it's something that I'm very thankful for. And you personally. can take care of the farm. Yes, yes. Tell about the farm. Oh, gosh. I mean, we could talk about that maybe later. Okay. <laughs> outtakes. Dogs, cats, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> another um, yeah, well, personally, being five minutes away from the happiest place on earth, Disneyland, <laughs> I'm kind of a nerd for that kind of thing. So I love, I love that part of it. Um, and yeah, just being able to get away. And you know, we've got a great support here in Anaheim, and it's 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 a volleyball community mm -hmm. here and in the the whole like Southern California. And it's cool to be at Starbucks and someone sees you know volleyball and they're like, oh yeah, I play every Saturday, and and we can talk about it. Or you know, my daughter's just started club. Like, yeah. do you have any advice? And it's fun. We, you know, we love what we do, absolutely, and we feel very fortunate. And but what's really fun is when you get to share that um, with other people, and, and we really enjoy that. So that makes it very special. Speaking of sharing, um, the, the national team is now involved in a Starlings program here in Anaheim. Yeah. What's that been like? It's been fun. Yeah. Uh, it's a really cool opportunity for us to get to know like the youth in this area, um, to connect with them, and to I don't know, just spend time with them and have fun with them and coach them and. Um, I don't know. It's been a really cool experience. I'm really happy we've been able to do that. Yeah, I, I love it as well. It's it's fun to be able to give back, and I think we all remember where we were, uh, or being that age and, and trying to learn these new techniques. And um, it's it's also another way to give us perspective, you know, and remind us. Um, I don't know. To put on the coaching shoe for two hours a week yeah. is like, for oh, sure. you know, Karch has sure. been telling me this, and for now sure. I'm telling her. And for then, sure. And the kids, you know, they, they laugh they're like, what do you guys do at your practices? And we're like, well, we do the exact same thing. <laughs> you know, I'm working on the same thing I'm telling you to do. And uh, and the kids here are great, and it's it's a really fun. We love it. Yeah. And it's it's also fun to see my our teammates. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know, a few, a few teammates I've never seen in that mm -hmm. position, and for them to, you know, grab a group of kids and get excited and yeah. have the kids respond to them, and sure. it's really neat. You know. sure. Who would you see as a, a future coach of the making out of this group? Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of good ones here. You know, Nick Fawcett, she is, she's, a, she's great. Yeah. She's like, uh, the kids love her. She's like funny, but gives really good feedback. So 
I don't know if she wants to get into coaching, but I wouldn't be surprised. Tama is like, I mean, she'd be a Courtney great Courtney is also amazing, amazing. I think she's the fan favorite. <laughs> and Krista and Danny's, I mean, yeah, I could go on. There's a lot. Cassie's really There's fun. a lot. Yeah. Kristen's great. We, we're not really in the same group usually. Yeah, they try and separate our, opposite, but our energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, we have another upcoming tournament in September in Omaha. Yeah. Um, Jordan Larson gets to go home to play. I think he maybe played in the Quest Center. I did. I tried to forget that match. I also yeah. did. I also <laughs> lost the national championship there. I lost in the semis. <laughs> Wait, do you guys? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Great memories here. What's, it, what's it like then to go back to Omaha and maybe change that whole memory of Omaha and, <laughs> and bringing in gold and pleasing the fans there. I'm a, no, I, I can't wait. The thing I remember about Nebraska is that there's tons of fans. They love volleyball and they're, you can tell when a crowd like knows volleyball, you know, and they'll applaud, I don't know, a different type of play than if someone just goes up and like, yeah. you know, yeah, jacks yeah. the ball and hitting lines or whatever. Um, so that's neat to play in front of a crowd that they, they understands the game and um, it'll be fun. It's fun like when we go, uh, to each other's home and, and to see like the fans react to Jordan and we'll give her a hard time probably the whole tournament yeah. and that's fun you know and, and cool for us to see and um, I can't wait yeah. and to change my memory of losing to Stanford in three <laughs> that'll be good that'll be good too um, the team has had um, unbelievable success in the last two three years um, winning a lot of medals what's what's it been like um, being number one in the nation but What's the next level? What's the next stage you want to get to? Well, it's a pretty special thing to be able to compete, to be part of this program. Um, I don't know. I, I, sometimes I have to pinch myself, right? That I'm a, I'm an outside hitter on the number one team in the world, and uh, I don't know. It's 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 very very special. Um, the next level for us is to continue this throughout the next four years until we get to Rio, and until we get the gold medal. Um, we have a lot of high hopes, and we know we can do it. Um, and it's going to take a lot of hard work, but we're uh, we're all here, and we're willing to do it. We're willing to put on to put in the time. Um, so yeah. I think, yeah. To piggyback on that, some we've talked about. You know, our team's never won a World Cup, a World Championship, or a gold medal, and we feel like we're in a position to do something really special. And it, with with that goal comes a lot of responsibility, and we have a lot of work to do. But we're willing to do it, and that's. We've set the bar really high, but it's exciting. You know, it's it's fun and it's a blessing to be a part of. And it's going to be hard, but it's going to be great. So we're hoping to, to bring home the trifecta. <laughs> yeah. Triple crown. Triple crown. What's it called? Like that. What's it been like meeting these new players that are coming in? <laughs> Any interesting stories that you want to relate to them? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. There's too many. We've had some. They're great. It's it's. Weird for me to well we're like we were like the oldest in the gym yeah, for a while yeah and that was weird because really we've weird. always kind of been the young ones in the program um, but uh, CJ CJ has a story that when she watched a few of us on TV and her perceptions of us were like completely opposite of how we really are in, in real life so she was that was pretty funny like hearing what you know she thought Krista was super calm and like. A very, you know, whatever, and she thought I was like super girly and wear pigtails all the time, and I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a time and a place, but you know. I have a good CJ story. Yeah. This is this is a moment in this gym that I felt like pretty old. Um, uh, a bunch of the young girls were sitting around before serving pass, and they're like, "Hey, like, where are you playing next year?" And I just signed a contract to Brazil, and they're like, "Where have you played before?" And I was like, "Oh, I played." Three years in Russia, one in Azerbaijan, one in Italy, one in Turkey. And as I was listening, I was like, dang, I'm old. But I was just thinking it. I didn't vocalize it. And CJ goes, damn, you're old. Like, what kind of cream you use? Your skin looks good, girl. <laughs> so that's what I mean, anyway. Anyway, so that's one of those things. But, I mean, they're so great. They have such good energy. Um, I don't know, there's so many different personalities and it's been really fun to kind of explore each of them um, and connect with them and compete with them. Um, I mean, it's great. It's, it's new energy, it's great energy. Everyone's working really hard. Um, so yeah, it's really fun. And being it's the first year of a quad, a lot of kids are coming into the, um, the gym for the first time for USA Volleyball. How does that impact the team with knowing 
they are competing for that same 12 spots that you are. It's great. I think uh, I, I, we were both here in the first summer of the last quad, and we were kind of in that position. We played a little bit before, but um, it's it's a really talented group, and it's fun to uh, to have been through a four-year cycle and to feel like you're in a totally different place on the court and off the court, um, but to still remember exactly what that feels like. And, you know, before our first scrimmage, you get the Instagram pictures of their jerseys and like all their gears laid down on their bed. And it's so cool. It gives me chills thinking about it. I remember doing that and I still have those pictures. And um, to, it, it makes it, uh, it reminds you of how special this is. And, and, and it, you know, because every time you put on a USA jersey, it's special. Um, but we, you know, when you're fortunate enough to do it a lot, maybe you forget that every once in a while. And so it's neat. It's a, like she said, it's just a cool new energy. and. It's a really talented group, and we have a long way to go. But I'm, we're light years ahead of where we were four years ago. So I'm, I'm excited, yeah. optimistic. Cheers to that. Yeah. Anything last you want to add to this <laughs> interview? No. Next time I'll bring my cutout the magazine of Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. <kidding. laughs> yeah.